Well, hey guys, this is DK from Fusion, and uh, I have something I want to talk to you today about, uh, and it's probably not going to come as a surprise. And that is that as you get older, as you age, uh, have you noticed that you have to work a little bit harder to stay in good physical condition? And, and not only do you have to work harder, you have to work a little smarter. Uh, you have to know more, you have to be uh, more strategic in what you're doing to stay in good physical, mental, and even emotional health. Uh, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because there's so much information on the internet now about fitness, some of it good, some of it not so good. Uh, and I wanted to share an article that I came across uh, written by someone who's very well known in the world of health and fitness in general, and that's Dr. Oz, Mehmet Oz. And probably most of you have heard of him uh, and maybe from Oprah or from his own television show. And I have a great deal of respect for Dr. Oz. I think he's done wonderful things to help people understand health and how to get healthier. He does a really good job of conveying information to people in a way that's entertaining, that's sticky, uh, memorable, and usable. However, he, he said a couple of things in this article uh, that frankly I, I have to respectfully disagree so, with. So I'm going to share it with you and, uh, and I'll give you the whys, okay? So first of all, it, the, the article that I'm talking about actually came out in Men's Fitness uh, Magazine and that was uh, September of uh, 2011 issue. And on the front of it it says, Dr. Oz shows you how to live to 100 and live well. And it's an engaging title and it's certainly something that I'm interested in. So uh, naturally, uh, I'm going to read it. Now, it's set up according to decades, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, etc. So one of the things that I looked at, of course, is what do you do in your 50s as a male uh, to live well and to, and to stay healthy? So I'm just going to read a, a couple of things out of this to you, and then I'll have a comment. So this is, quote, the big epiphany, and this is going to blow your mind, is that the fitness level of someone who is 17 years of age is no different from someone who is 65 years of age. Okay, let's stop right there for a minute. You, you, seriously? No. You, you're telling me that my fitness level at the age of 55 is the same as the fitness level of someone who's 17? Come on, really? Well, here's the problem, is that the word fitness, and I've talked about this a number of times on the Fusion blog, the problem with the word fitness, it is it not, it is not well defined. Now, our term of fitness and how we use it is that you're suitably adapted to the environment, to the physical demands that you face. Now, I think what Dr. Oz, to be fair here, is referring to is the amount of oxygen that is carried in, in your blood at the age of 17 and the amount of oxygen that's carried in your blood at the age of 65 isn't really any different, it, it, you know, with the exception of smoking. See, because smoking causes a whole different scenario of oxygen and etc which I'll go into later in another post but I think that's what he's saying is that when you're 17 your quote fitness level and 65 fitness is the same because your oxygen levels are roughly the same but I think that's very misleading especially to people who have uh, some notion of going out and trying to play soccer one afternoon because they just read in a national publication that they're they're just as fit as a 17 year old uh, and it goes it's better after this so you can jump higher and you're a lot stronger at your peak age which is 27 but your fitness level and endurance ability at 17 and 65 are the same see that so that's why I think what he's talking about here is just your oxygenation levels of your blood uh, and while we're on the subject you know for that matter the oxygen that LeBron James carries in his blood and the oxygen that I carry in my blood, about the same. But can you see me playing pro ball with him, against him? I don't think so. I mean, come on. We're not the same level of fitness. Okay, I'll rest my case there. So, you have to be able to stay physically active throughout your life. Guys past the age of 50 should focus more on endurance activities as they get older, things like biking, running, and the ellip elliptical if you have weak, knee weak knees and swimming. Let me try reading that again, sorry. Guys past the age of 50 should focus more on endurance activities as they get older, things like biking, running, 
and the elliptical if you have weak knees and swimming. So that, that's what you should be doing if you're over 50, even though your endurance ability is already the same as the 17-year-old. To, to me, that was just really confusing. Uh, the thing that Dr. Oz is missing here, and I've talked about this on the slide a lot, strength and power as you age, those are so important to you. And you don't get those by riding a bike or swimming or running. You get strength and power from resistance type exercises. You know, in infusion, we develop power using speed, but you can develop power with other, other ways too, with lots of load and try to move load fast. But what we're trying to do is use speed because speed and strength create power. And that's what you lose as you get older. And I don't understand why he hasn't put this in here, but it's not. And I, I want to emphasize to you guys that are in fusion and following fusion, this isn't necessarily wrong. Do you need endurance activities as you age? Absolutely, of course you do. You need stuff to build your cardiorespiratory system, no question. But what you need equally as much is power and strength and speed and stamina. Those things are key. And if you, and if you don't work to get, develop those, I mean, if you don't really work at it, you'll lose them. And then one day you'll find out you don't have what you need and then you're in really a tough spot. So beyond the elliptical and beyond walking and beyond jogging in the age of 50 guys, you need to be working on power and strength. And that's my two cents. Please, you know, send us your comments or in the box below. Weigh in on this. Love to hear your opinions. And uh, that's all I've got for today. So make today count. See you next time.